Have you ever heard about order book debt? Normally when you go to an exchange, you have this buy and sell wall that are fighting with each other. That's called the order book debt. But most traders don't know that you can use this actually for your price predictions and trading. In today's video, we are going to have a look at the order book debt and order book liquidity heat maps and how you can use the information presented in the order book. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a trick that will make your profitability ratio even higher when you use live order book data so guys let's dive straight into it and if you are looking for decentralized exchange check apex omni i have affiliate link down below you will get a 30,000 us dollar deposit bonus this decentralized exchange has a very similar feeling as to bybit only you can access this exchange from restricted countries such as the netherlands the united states and the united kingdom so the name says it already actually order book debt how thick is the order book and of course if you have a very deep order book it means there is a lot of liquidity in that order book and when the order book is very shallow there is not much liquidity and you might experience slippage so when you are trading bitcoin this is for example on most exchanges not a problem as there is enough liquidity but if you are trading some altcoins and you see that the order book is very shallow and you do a market market order with a high amount of money it is possible you are going to influence the price or see slippage so the thickness of the order book basically tells you how much liquidity is there right now with the current price now guys we are going to the real deal and that is liquidity heat maps from information from the order book so this is basically a visual representation of the order book in the chart of bitcoin uh, not too confused with liquidation heat maps because liquidation heat maps are basically a visualization of potential levels in the bitcoin price where massive liquidation events can occur right so that is with open positions this visualization shows basically where are the orders in the order book where are people buying and where are people selling so here you can see the colors we have from purple to yellow yellow means that that is a higher amount of liquidity uh, in the order book and when you see these orders above the price it is a sell order and when you see it below the price it's of course a buy order and what you can see already right here guys is that this tool is very good for spotting support and resistance zones. it really shows you where are traders interested in buying or opening positions on bitcoin so for example when bitcoin was trading right here uh, going from this massive rally from 50 to 60 to actually above 70,000 US dollars you can see that a lot of traders were actually looking at this wick this wick acted as support because the moment this wick occurred you can see this yellow line right here which is basically just buying orders that are stalled at exactly that level at roughly 60,000 US dollars so here you can see already that at 60,000 US dollars a lot of traders or a lot of liquidity because we don't know from how many traders this is this can be a couple of wills can be uh, millions of retail traders can be a mix of both but here we can already see that there's a lot of interest around 60k and here we can also see that the moment we are touching 60k and we are dipping below that these orders are being filled because afterwards this yellow line is gone as you can see and we see a little bit coming back when bitcoin co is correcting so it went to 60k dipped below that even got back up and then when it was correcting slightly a bit more people were starting to buy again at 60k showing again the significance of this level and when bitcoin bounced from the buy up at 60,000 US dollars you can already see sell orders were being placed before bitcoin reached 70,000 US dollars already liquidity was anticipating that they want to sell at 70,000 US dollars taking profits of this move and you can also see that that was almost exactly the top in the bitcoin price which showed a significant resistance level and it also showed showed that a lot of liquidity was basically stacking up there to take profits on bitcoins and afterwards bitcoin refers so these are two very clear examples guys and you can use this of course on the 24 hour time frame you can use it in for example the one hour time frame as well uh, you can also see where liquidity is stacked on the one hour time frame then we can also already see um yeah some support levels so here we can already see that 
uh, liquidity is being stacked at 62,700. The moment we touch this level, we bounce off that level. And you already know way in advance that liquidity is being stacked there. But guys, it's very important that you don't use this indicator as your sole indicator to determine buying or selling uh, certain assets because as you can see we also have sometimes yellow blocks which means that there's liquidity that liquidity is not met with the price because it's already stops right here as you can see but that liquidity is being taken out of the order book so it is very easy to manipulate this data if many people were looking at these charts some wills can just put uh, some blocks of liquidity somewhere manipulating everyone in thinking that there is a huge sell wall, there is a huge buy wall. Well, in fact, right before the price uh, goes to that level, that liquidity can also be removed, right? So there's no certainty that this is any significance. However, you can use this indicator to your advantage as a confirmation on top of other indicators. And guys, probably the best indicator that you can combine with the liquidity heat map is the buying and selling pressure heat maps from Will Porton. Why is this? Because the liquidity in the liquidity heat map is just liquidity sitting in the order book. It's not yet executed, right? But when we have a look at the buying and selling pressure heat maps over on Will Portal, this is actually buying and selling pressure calculated by the liquidity that right now is in positions this heat map takes the premium index into consideration the open interest volume funding rates and many more metrics that are only about positions that are open right now so that is basically the opposite of what's happening with the liquidity in the order book because that's liquidity waiting to open positions this is a heat map showing you basically the buying and selling pressure on what's already going on in the markets and here you can see already the moment we have green we have buying pressure price goes up the moment the red uh, intensity increases we have increased selling pressure price goes down until we have green again and the price goes up so this is basically a very good indicator that you can combine together with the liquidity heat map because th this will give you a perfect image on what's ha happening in the markets it will show you the liquidity that still wants to be executed in the not so distant future but it's also showing you already what is the pressure at the moment with all the open positions do we have a selling pressure do we have a buying pressure is the selling pressure increasing or decreasing so for example right here you have a selling pressure but the moment the price come down you can see the red intensity is significantly decreasing showing us that there is less and less pressure eventually the price can go up if you combine this for example with the liquidity heat maps you can find very nice support and resistance levels and you can put more significance because both of the indicators they basically complement each other the liquidity heat map you can find on coin glass i put a link to that down below in the description and the buying and selling pressure heat maps you can find on will portal i will also put a link to will portal down below in the description but okay guys that was it for today's video if you have any questions about this subject please ask them in the comment section down below and i will answer them as soon as possible and as to the best of my knowledge if you are still looking for a decentralized exchange make sure to join apex pro with the affiliate link down below apex is a similar exchange as to bybit bybit is even the biggest investor in this decentralized exchange it feels actually like you are trading on bybit but you can access this exchange from every country in the world and if you join with the affiliate link down below you can get a deposit bonus up to thirty thousand us dollars similar as what bybit is offering guys check that out i have it in the, the video description i want to wish every single one of you a beautiful day and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video